High Level just released a whole new suite of features for reputation management that is going to absolutely change the game. This is being posted on October 14th, which is a Tuesday, which is the day that High Level announced at the Level Up Summit all their new features. And then on Friday, they're going to post the recording for everybody to see. But for right now, only people in that room know it was released. But I'm going to show you the four reputation management ones. This is before the summit. They gave us affiliates kind of sneak peek access into some of the new features. And some of these are absolute game changers. If you don't know who I am, my name is Clay Lawrence, owner of Review Harvest. We make about $37,000 per month just helping local business owners get Google reviews. And that's why these new reputation management features are so, so important. So last year was my first time winning the Sasspreneur Award. You can see we won the Sasspreneur Award again, Review Harvest, that's my company. And so let's dive into these features. For each new feature, I'll cover how to use it and how how to install it into your clients' businesses to provide more value to them. The very first feature I want to talk about is responding to old reviews in drip mode. So we've all done it. We onboard a new customer and we're doing SEO services or reviews or we're doing ads and we see their Google business profile is a mess and they've got you know 75 reviews they haven't responded to. Well, used to you'd have to go through and manually respond to each one or click on the reply with AI and it'd take forever. Now you're going to be able to respond to previous reviews in drip mode to make it look natural. Just automatically. So you just go in here, you create a drip campaign. Unfortunately, I don't have demo access to this feature. There's a couple other features later that I do have early exclusive access to. So we can actually click around and play around with it. But you can see here, all you'll do is you'll just kind of create a new drip campaign to respond to these reviews, decide how many reviews you want to apply to a day. And then you can choose what star ratings you want to respond to and kind of the tone of the review response. What's so awesome about this is you can get connected to their Google business profile. And within you know a couple days or a couple hours, you can say, hey, also those 75 reviews you never responded to, you know, we've already responded to 20 of them. We're going to keep responding to them or you can just respond to all of them at once. Uh, we've never had any issues with that, but to make it look more natural, you can definitely do that, but you can just instantly provide some value to that business. And like when somebody pays you that first 24, 48 hours is crucial. And so just doing something, it's going to show, oh, wow, these people are trying. And honestly, for us, it's just a couple clicks of the button to respond to those reviews. So my guess is that this feature will be under a reputation tab under reviews. And if there's a lot of old unreplied reviews, there'll be a button here where you can create that campaign and respond to them. The second feature I want to discuss is video testimonial review requests. This is crazy. If you've ever looked into video testimonial software where basically you can request a video testimonial from a customer easily, you know that it's 50, 60, 70, $80 a month for their base packages. And now you can just do this in high level. And the thing about video testimonials is one video testimonial is so much more powerful than five or 10 written reviews nowadays. With AI video creation being the way it is nowadays, maybe this won't be as valuable or as true anymore. But it's still absolutely huge. I think about for like people, for us as marketing agencies or for us as SaaS businesses, we need those video testimonials. If you work with any online coaches or courses, they need those video testimonials. And even for local businesses, these are really, really valuable. You know, if someone's cutting down an 80 foot tree next to their home and it's about to fall on their house, but they need, they need a good reputable company to get it down without causing any damage, Having a few video testimonials on their site is not going to hurt. I can promise you that. And so how this works is just like sending a normal review request. You can you know, adjust the verbiage, send it via text and email, et cetera. And then what it does, it takes them to a page where they allow access to their camera and stuff and they can just record. And so from there, it puts it into what they're calling video collectors, which are basically just widgets that you can add to your site with these video testimonials. So I am super, super stoked for these video testimonials. This totally opens the door to like a high ticket price point where you basically do video testimonials as a service. You might have heard of Testimonial Hero or Testimonial Buddy, I think. They charge $5,700 to get these people case studies and video reviews and stuff like that. And so you could kind of go all in on this. You could kind of brand yourself as a high end, like I'm going to get you some life changing marketing material where we basically go to your happiest customers and we get them to let leave you an amazing video you can use for ads for social media content on your website. And these videos are going to sell for you forever. And that's kind of the argument that testimonial hero or testimonial buddy makes. It's like, you know, you're going to spend 10 K to get these amazing videos, but they're going to sell sell thousands of customers for you in the future. And so you know, it kind of opens up that door where you could do this as a service. Maybe you charge, if you're just using the feature and you're just getting video testimonials, maybe you charge $500 per video testimonial. And you're like, hey, you don't pay me unless we, you get a video testimonial. I mean, I have people tell us all the time that they pay $100 or $200 for a review just on Google, a five-star review on Google. 
right? And so for a video testimonial, they can use everywhere, content, ads, all that sort of stuff. People will be willing to pay a pretty penny, especially people in the online coaching and course creating world. world. I don't have beta access to this feature. The next two I will, but this is gonna go up here at the top, it looks like. It's just gonna have video testimonials up there at the top. You'll be able to toggle there and create your video testimonial collections and your requests. The third one is competitor analysis review tracking. Basically meaning they can plug in their competitors into the tracking in high level and then it'll track how many reviews they have versus them. And this is gonna be an absolute huge win for anybody that's trying to get new business or people that already have a bunch of old clients. They can add their competitors in there. I think this will help anybody that's doing go high level SaaS like the review route or even if you're just you know, doing an SEO or SMMA offer for churn, right? You, you basically can just show them in the dashboard, hey, your biggest two competitors, look how you're doing better than them. Do you wanna stay there? Cause it's been like that since you started working with us. And that they'll just keep coming back because they want the more reviews, they want to rank higher on Google and they don't want their competitors to start beating them. And I think when you actually put it in the competitor tracking analysis tool and you actually visualize it for them, I think it'll help your users stick longer. And so let's go ahead and play around with this feature. So if we go to overview, we go to competitor analysis here, you can see we can add a competitor. And so you can do this just by finding their information on Google Maps. So I already added one competitor here, but let me add one more. You just click on add competitor. You search up the name of their business. Looks like you have to do kind of an exact search right now. I'm sure they'll kind of sort that out to make it a little bit easier. Let's say, let's grab the fun PCB pontoon rentals. So we'll search it up. Fun PCB pontoon rentals. Let's see. There we go, we got it. We're gonna add the competitor. Click on this. Yep, there you go, now it pops up. Now we'll add the competitor. And now you can see kind of a side-by-side -side comparison of these three businesses. So here's your client here. You can see they have 452 reviews, 4.9 rating, beating these other two. And it looks like this average response time may be unavailable if no replies exist due to limitations. So it looks like they're probably not pulling all those reviews right away. It probably will start tracking from now on. So it's gonna start pulling the average response time from now on. But you can see it's starting to do an analysis right now. Um, and we can go ahead and I'll just let this load for a second and we'll see what it comes up with. And while we're waiting on those results to come back, I wanted to go ahead and talk about High Level. High Level has changed my life. If you wanna get started, you wanna use this life-changing software to you know start your own business, start, start your own marketing agency, start your own white label software, feel free to click on my my link down below in the description. You'll get an extended 30 day trial instead of the normal 14 days and you'll get access to all my goodies. Two coaching calls a week with me, plus a coaching call with a Facebook ads expert every week. All of my snapshots, all of my trainings, you'll get access to a community of almost 780 people doing the same exact thing, um, all trying to grow their marketing business, all trying to make money online and all using high level to do it. And so if you are interested in that, feel free to click the link down below in the description, but back to the video. So now that the reports have come back for the competitor analysis, we can look at them. Basically what this competitive link landscape grid is doing is it's reading all your reviews, analyzing the sentiment of like how one business is shaping up to the other. So you can see this business, Waterfront Pontoons, their weakness is the boat condition, the service quality, poor maintenance. If we go to fun PCV pontoons, customer service issues, quality, poor maintenance, the same thing. You can see this business here, it has so many reviews. I think, I don't think it has retrieved the reviews yet. It says the system will try again next month to refresh, which is a little bit underwhelming, but it is what it is. Um, I'm, and this is just in beta, right? This isn't live to everybody. I'm sure they'll improve it. The next report here is just a sentiment heat map, basically saying like, hey, how many great reviews do you have? How many negative reviews do you have? Where are these reviews gathered? You can see for some reason your business still hasn't loaded in from here. I don't know how I could refresh this or not. I let it sit for a while. I played around with it. But for now, we're getting this out. We're getting this live. It's better for y'all to just go ahead and see it than not see it at all. But you can kind of see where are reviews being gathered. We have some, we have, you know, this business has a lot of neutral reviews. This business has a decent amount of negative reviews. And so you can kind of see just visually where everybody's at. And then you can see rating by so source. This goes into other review software. As you can see, they pulled automatically water fund pontoon rentals from their Facebook. Imagine because their Facebook's connected to their Google business profile. But you can see if they have so social media is connected, I'm sure they're pulling those reviews so you can kind of see ratings by all the different platforms. Last but not least, I think this might be my personal favorite and people are going to rave about this. We have Google business profile optimization now built in through high level. 
So how this works is when you connect a Google Business Profile to a high-level sub account, it's gonna pull all the data from their listing and it's gonna allow you to edit it through the dashboard. So let's check this out. So you can see I've connected the business here. You can see the name, the description, the images. And I think as this evolves, I would imagine they'll have some sort of AI built-in automation where it gives you suggestions. Right now, you can kind of just, you, know, you can edit this, you can add a WhatsApp number, you can add a phone number to text, uh, you can add more services, and you can kind of change everything from here. So it's just like editing from the Google Business Profile. But I would imagine in the future here, they're gonna have like some AI recommendations. I was looking for it and I can't really tell. So you can see it gives you a score. It's basically just saying how many of these are a green check mark versus the kind of little warning error we're getting here. For example, here it's giving a warning error because we don't have a cover photo or a profile photo. Now, most of you know that Google's gonna probably choose whatever cover photo they wanna put there, um, but you could still upload it to kind of get rid of that warning label. And this is just something else you could show your customer and say, hey, looks like you're at nine out of 16 or 10 out of 16 right now. We went ahead and optimized your Google business profile. My only concern with this is just like, hey, when you're changing name, like if you're changing names for Phone numbers or like address probably don't touch address like it, you might be better off unless this is your service like you are doing a ranking offer or you are doing something like with SEO to help them rank higher on Google you might want to make a checklist and get them in here to do it themselves that way they kind of assume the responsibility for it because adding the keywords name of the business absolutely huge in terms of helping them rank higher also could get their profile you know suspended, probably just change the name. Obviously there's a right way and a wrong way to do that. I have a bunch of other videos on that and I will make kind of a ranking offer video, a little teaser coming up here. But yeah, this is just something you can go ahead and show them like, hey, look, you were at 10 or you're at 10 at 16. You didn't really have an optimized Google business profile. I went ahead and optimized it for you. So you're good to go. If you scroll through here, you can add your social media profiles and that'll add it to your Google business profile. And you can kind of look over the reviews here as well. So I do think this is probably just the beginning. I'm sure they'll have some sort of AI optimization stuff coming out for this as well. But I know they're partnered up with Search Atlas as well. It does this. So all in all, these are some game changers. I mean, honestly, opening up the door for us to be able to provide even more value to our users, to our clients that we're working with. And some of these business owners you're working with are already paying for software that you know asks for video testimonials or like optimizes their Google business profile. And now if you're using high level, you can just plug this in. They pay you something additional, but they probably will still end up saving money from having to use five different softwares to use all the things that high level can do just through the reputation management tab. If you like this video, please like, please subscribe. It helps out the algorithm a whole bunch. If you are interested in getting started with high level, feel free to click my link down below in the description, two coaching calls a week, access to the community snapshots, all all the goodies. It's like over $10,000 worth of bonuses I've put together over years and years of trying to build my own business on high level. You know, it took me probably three or four years before I hit 20K per month on high level. And so I just kind of try to consolidate all that and just give it to y'all for free when you sign up with my link. And if you're interested in how I make money with high level, check out this next video.